Hello everyone on the internet and thanks for tuning in. This is Ryukiva from Ryukiva Toku with another Toku unboxing. Today I am doing Mast Rider The Bee. I will say that I got this one because not I don't remember too much about the character from honest. I mean Mast Rider Kabuto was probably one of the early series that I watched personally. I mean I watched it probably about two years after it aired. But I did like the design of this suit. I did like this armour. And the thing about this one is, is, yeah, it's a Bandai 2009 made in China. Uh, this is my second The Bee because the first one was in appalling condition when I got it. Returned it. So hopefully this one will be in better condition. So we're looking at the box. We've got a good shot of the video. Yeah, we've got a good shot of the figure's full body. So you can see what's going on. Uh, you've got a couple. I'm pretty sure that's what those are the only weapons they had. Black and white shot of the figure. Is that of the figure? I'm assuming that's of the figure rather than of the character in the show. Got the Kabuto logo, got Bandai, got Toei seal of approval. Uh, the blurb, SH Figure Arts. SH Figure Arts is a new standard figure series that incorporates the Bandai action figure art under the theme pursuing character expression through humanoid action. Still don't know what that means. Got SH Figure Arts Master of the B written on one, two, three sides. Still got the price sticker. And we've got the contact details on the bottom, barcode. Looking at the back, I mean, this box is actually in pretty decent condition. Uh, we've got him shot with the Zek Troopers. We've got him with his, you know, various forms with the Stinger. But he's not being too um, fancy in terms of his posing. Civil Stein Heroic Action SH Figure Arts, Tamashi Nation, the rest is in Japanese. So I did get this 4,000 yen used, which is probably a bit much i mean you could probably get it for two three thousand yen if you're savvy new you'd be lucky to get this new let's put it that way so on with the unboxing uh, out with me knife da, 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 da. let's see let's go for it i can only hope that this is in a decent condition that oh i mean the, the i guess the inlay is still sellotaped like new to the back so that is quite promising in terms of its condition. So we have got a QR code. I might try that out. I think it just says data research. I don't know if that's a smart brain thing. Was smart brain Kabuto? No, it was Zect. Sorry about that. Right, so very basic detailed instructions. So we have one additional pair of hands to the closed fists and some basic weaponry. <laughs> That's about all the instructions say. So look, right, so, I'm, so again, it looks standard with the plastic on. So let's take that plastic off. Right, so I'm going to say this looks pretty decent condition. The yellow is standing out. Uh, the, ha the hands, yep, all the yellow's got it. So the weapons have just jumped straight out at me. Bring it up a bit. There we go. So, uh, let's have a look. Right, so the legs are definitely... <laughs> look at that! That's some crazy bending of the legs. Those are some weak... Th I mean, I've gone for the legs to begin with for some odd reason, but nonetheless... I mean, that, that is some crazy bending of the leg right there. I mean, uh, right, so let's ha so I'm going bottom up. So, yeah, we've got some standard torso action there. I mean, one leg's a little loose. <laughs> one leg is really tight in terms of the thigh. Uh, the arms, I mean, again, he's got some crazy double jointed thing going on. I don't remember this. Uh, but I know those arm joints are used in quite a few Seiho releases. I mean, the eyes are a very dark sparkly, so they just about have it on this one. Um, but again, the gold on this one is actually pretty decent. So let's have a look at the balancing on this. I mean, again, the thighs are actually staying in this figure for once. Uh, I mean, again, this being my second the B. I mean, I've got him in some sort of Kenpo I've got him in some sort of kumite pose here, which, and, you know, I will give it to the seller. It's in, considering this is an 11-year-old figure, an 11-year-old used figure, 
that's not the worst balancing, but it could be better. Um, again, that's, I mean, again, even though even though that does, it's a bit flimsy, but again, my original, the B, was a lot worse, so I had to return it. So, you know, I mean, I'd probably say that is a keepable condition. I mean, it's not the greatest by far. And, you know, the balancing, he does feel like he's going to fall over, but still, and again, not much going on. You clip on the weaponry to his wrist. Uh, uh, uh. It's a bit Robocop if you ask me, but what you gonna do? I mean, those legs are really skinny. I mean, going over the detail, I mean, his shoulder pads are quite flamboyant. They've got big holes in them. I mean, I'm just literally saying what I'm seeing here. Uh, the belt's got a nice, you know, it's got the Zect logo. Is that Zect? Yeah, it's got Zect written on it. I mean, it looks like it can come out, but I don't think it can. I mean, the design on the back is pretty standard. I mean, the detailing in the helmet, I mean, again, the eyes are quite, yeah, they've got kind of like a nectar vibe to it, which is kind of the point. But again, the yellow stands out. It's got some horns on him. Uh, the belt's got some, you know, it's almost like they've gone off a, because Dano was the year after, but anyway. But again, it's got good gold paint on it, so at least there was nothing in the instructions about the paint fading, like some of the some of these big arts do say. So what can I do? I mean, this is I mean, there's not much going on. I'll have a quick switch of the hand. I mean, again, eleven year old figure that hand was pretty easily popped off. And just to pop one on. I mean, again, I'm only changing one hand in this video. I'll end it swiftly now, he says. So, yeah, that handle's pretty much swiftly on. I don't know. I think I'm going for a little bit of a Kabuto pose here, but still. Just to end. It's a short stinger. I mean, again, it was so long since. So, I don't know. It's quite a flamboyant pose I'm doing here. there we go i like it i mean it's not perfect it's quite old would recommend and i love the design personally so see you next time thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed please follow like and subscribe to this channel support me on patreon as well as on facebook twitter and instagram at ryuki Votoku. my blog and fan sub page is at ryuki .com. links are in the description sh figure arts are not for children suitable for ages 14 plus see you next time